why girls moody clearly because you don't feed them chocolate all right thank you bye i mean who even asked this question who are you literally i'll give you 50 pound if you find a pretty willy we're difficult creatures us girls we make no sense but you love us anyway never say that to their face because my god you will literally probably die hi everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new then a big massive welcome to you hope you're all doing well today my video is going to be questions that guys are too afraid to ask now i did this version of questions that girls are too afraid to ask i did that with my partner james so i'll link that video down below but that was good fun to do so i thought I do this version I'm doing it with my lovely friend Katie so thank you Katie for getting involved I'm well aware that I really ramble on my introductions on my videos so I'm gonna try really hard not to do that today and just gonna get straight into it I've got a list of questions I did a Q&A thing on Instagram and Katie did the same as well so we've got a list of questions so I'm just gonna go through the list and yeah basically answer the questions and Kate is going to do the same because of lockdown we unfortunately can't do this together I'm basically going to put the clips together Katie's clips my clips put them together anyway let's get on with the video first question is that's a fly go away flies irritate me I mean they follow you around don't they they literally follow you from room to room go away get out anyway uh my list is over here on the laptop so sorry i'm gonna be like looking over there uh do girls like or dislike facial hair i feel like everyone's different some girls really do like beards and all of that i'm not one of them girls i do not like it no if James has stubble, if he hasn't shaved in like a day or two, his hair grows so quick though, literally. He'll shave like one day, the next day he'll be all, all stubbly. If he's stubbly, I don't want to kiss him. I'm like, no, go away. And I'll like give him a little peck. we like, mwah. That's it. Because I can't stand it. It makes me, it just feels horrible. It's all itchy and it makes you all horrible and it gives me rash makes me rashy if he kisses me i come out of a rash like anywhere he's touched me no it's not for me i do not like facial hair i mean some guys really suit it don't they if you look at a guy and he's got like a like a nicely styled beard not like a really big shaggy goat beard um but you know if he's got like a nice beard some guys oh, go away some guys really do suit a nice beard but it's not for me, it's not. I've dated someone in the past that that liked to grow his beard out. I've seen pictures of him now and it's literally like a proper like Santa beard, I swear. Um, but back then, like years back, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was, you know, I didn't, no, it's not for me, sorry. But if you've got a beard, see you later. Mm -mm. Can go make someone else's face itchy not mine but yeah james will tell you if he if he needs a shave he can stay well away from me hello and welcome to another episode of i don't even know what the episode would be called but questions that guys are scared to ask girls i think that's what hannah's going to call it anyway hello and welcome my name is katie i run planning emporium and i am also one of hannah's very good friends and my hair is absolutely atrocious today so let's just laugh it off and begin so i haven't actually got matt's phone today to help me so i've only got my mac so i print screened all the you know all the print screens and i've got myself a drink so we can sip the tea if there's some exciting moments. Anyway, right. <laughs> Question number one. Do girls like or dislike facial hair? Well, I cannot speak for the whole female population, but I love a bit of facial hair. Mm, yes, I do. If I had to choose between facial hair and no facial hair, the answer would be facial hair. Don't know if you can see that photo up there, but... 
Matt has facial hair. Um, yeah, he's got a beard, cash, you know, all the things. But I love that. But again, I can't speak for all females. It's very silly to generalise, Huns. The next one is, would you get with a guy if you've known, if you know, I can't get my words out, if you know they've cheated before? Um, I personally, no, I wouldn't. I've been cheated on before and it is the worst possible feeling in the world. It makes you feel like, am I not good enough? Like, what did I do wrong? It's just, it's awful. Um, so if I know a guy has cheated before, I don't think I would. I mean, I, because of my past relationships, I, I struggle a little bit with trust anyway. Um, oh, let's fly. I might have to just pause the video and go get the fly squatter because honestly, it's going to drive me up the wall. What was I saying? Yeah, knowing if a guy has cheated before, in my head, it might not be the case, but in my head, I'm thinking if he's if he's done it once, he'll do it again. It's not the same for every single guy out there. I mean, people make mistakes. I know that people do make mistakes, and I'm all for second chances. But because of my past experiences, because I have been cheated on in different relationships, not just by one guy, by a couple, um, it's it's awful. It makes you feel like utter rubbish. Rubbish. Let's keep it PG. Utter rubbish. Um, no, I don't think I would. If I knew someone had cheated before, I don't think so. I reckon Katie will say the same. I'd be interested to know Katie's answer to the answers to these questions because I think she'll be quite similar to me. But no, if you've cheated before, sorry, but next. Goodbye. Um, question number two. Would you get with a guy if you know they have cheated before? I actually don't think so. Unless the sparks were mad. But no, I don't think so. I think I think cheating is disgusting. Um, and yeah, that is that is my outtake or input. I understand people can, you know, reform and, you know, find a new soul. No, sorry. See you later. Bye. Put you in the bin. All right. The next one is why do girls like it? Oh, no. Why do guys not? Oh, my God. Hannah, get your words out. Why do girls not like it when guys watch porn? Why was that such a mouthful? Honestly, that was difficult. Um, Why do girls not like it when guys watch porn? Because why do you feel the need... If you're in a relationship, you shouldn't need to watch porn because you should be happy and satisfied. You should be fully content and happy with what with, with your girl, with your partner. And it's the same for girl and boy and boy and girl. You should be happy with what you've got and you shouldn't feel the need to have to sit and watch porn because you've got an amazing girl or an amazing guy what more do you want so no i wouldn't like it and i'm sure lots of girls wouldn't like it because it's just i think it's quite disres disres oh my gosh hannah come on i think it's quite disrespectful what's wrong with me today i can't not get my work i'm get having one of them days don't know if it's because I woke up with a migraine this morning, but my words, my brain and my words, they're not matching. Um, I think it's quite disrespectful if you watch porn in a relationship. Others might feel differently, others might not care. But me personally, I think that's, that's not on and there's no need for it. Because you've got an amazing woman or amazing man. If you're giving each other, you know, what you want. You don't, you don't need it. Why do you need it? What's wrong with you? No. I think it can make the girl feel quite... I don't know. Maybe like they're not good enough. I mean, that's how I would feel. I would feel like, well, am I not good enough for you? Like, why, why am I not enough? That's all I'll say. I'll see what Katie's got to say on it, but 
There's no need for it. End of story. Full stop. End of story. Don't do it. Why do girls not like it when guys watch porn? Well, what would you rather be doing? With your other half or watching them watch a video? I tell you now, this is not an explicit video, so I won't go into deets. But I would much rather it be me assisting the other half. Yeah, I just think it's like, I don't know, I think it's probably a jealousy thing. I don't actually know. It's a funny one because I've never really been in this situation, so I haven't, you know. I don't know what Hannah's going to say to this, actually. I'd, I'll be interested to see her or to hear her outcome. I just think it's much better having it with your other half, you know. Or if you want to have it, you know, together and watch it, be my guest. That is it. That is all my... I'm uncomfortable. The next one is, do girls pee in the shower? I do. I mean, if I need a wee before I go in the shower, I think, do I have a wee on the toilet? I'm about to get in the shower anyway. Might as well just do it in the shower. Save a bit of time. It might be disgusting. It's the same as doing a wee in the swimming pool. I mean, some people might not admit to it. But come on, everyone has weed in a swimming pool before. But doesn't it make you feel like, what's the film? Um, Grown Ups, where they wee in the swimming pool and it turns blue. Like, am I the only one? If I feel like I need a wee while I'm swimming, I am paranoid. I'm like, will the water turn blue? Will everyone know and be able to see that I've done a wee? I mean, come on. If you say you haven't weed in the swimming pool, you're lying. Don't lie. You've done it. <laughs> Question number four. Um, do girls pee in the shower? Don't know about you, but the answer is yes. I feel like all girls wee in the shower. That is it. I'd never wee on anybody. Like, I'd, I'd never, you know, give the golden shower vibes. But, yes, I do. I know it's rank, but I think it's like when people say, like, I'll oh, do girls fart. Of course they fart. What are you talking about? What sort of century do you live in that you think girls don't fart? Or like poo? Anyway, lol. We'll ignore the, the traditional thoughts of those people and sip the huge drink. The next question is, why are girls obsessed with cuddling? I am a very cuddly pe- Well, I say this. I can go from being really cuddly and like wanting all the attention to give me some space, personal space, go away, give me some space. James will tell you, ask James, he'll be like, flick of a switch, you'll be clingy to give me space. There's no in between for me, I'm one or the other. I'm like hot or cold. Um, I don't know, it makes you feel like, it makes you feel secure, makes you feel happy and warm and wanted and it's just a sign of affection, isn't it? And love and... Guys might be different. Guys might not be worried or bothered about cuddling. I know James, James likes a good cuddle. Um, but for girls, it's different. It's like a sense of security, like a comfort blanket. For, yeah, for me, it's literally that, a comfort blanket. If I'm cuddling James, I feel like, I don't know, whatever's wrong, if I just have a good little cuddle, I feel better. I don't know what it is. It's a cuddle will solve everything. It just makes you feel all lovely and like, like you're loved. Everyone wants to feel loved and a good cuddle does exactly that. I don't know. That's all I have to say. Um, right, next one. Why are girls obsessed with cuddling? Um, what girls are you talking about, Huns? This is very, this is not sexist, but it's very generalised. Why do girls have long hair? Why do girls like pink? Shut up. Um, sorry, that's a bit bitchy, but it's happening. Right, why are girls obsessed with cuddling? Um, I wouldn't say they're obsessed with cuddling. Me personally, because this is a personal experience. Um, I like a cuddle. Who doesn't? But I don't want to cuddle all the time. 
after you've been with someone me and Matt have been together nearly five years it's five years in October so like four and a half years um yeah you don't like you don't constantly want to cuddle your other half sometimes I don't I definitely don't but it doesn't mean you don't love them it just means you don't need a cuddle to be secure you know what does it mean when girls say I'm fine well it means I'm not fine it means I'm not okay so figure out what's wrong <laughs> that's what it means if a girl says I'm fine 99.9% .9 of the time they're not fine and they're expecting you to figure out why they're not fine you should know what's wrong if a girl says no I'm fine I'm fine leave it I'm fine you need to you know figure it out they're not okay we're not fine you've done something wrong you've annoyed us why don't you why don't you know what's wrong why don't you know what you've done figure it out honestly when a girl says I'm fine don't listen to him girl says I'm fine you're like all right then fine yeah fine okay that will make it worse that'll make it a hundred times worse so just stop and think okay what have i done in the last 24 hours that might have annoyed them i don't know what it is but as girls we just we don't like to say what the problem is we expect you to know i know you're not mind readers but we expect you to be why are you not mind readers why can you not figure out why do you not why do you not know what's wrong if i say i'm fine why do you automatically not know what's wrong with me we're difficult creatures us girls we make no sense but you love us anyway uh what does it mean when a girl says i'm fine <laughs> um it means she's absolutely terrible if i'm honest if Matt says to me, oh, you're right, you're right, I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. He he knows, though. He'll know if I'm if I'm not fine because I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And if he keeps asking and he annoys me, I just say, I just say, like, pee off. <laughs> um, but, yeah, basically, just don't annoy girls, okay? That's it. Do girls actually like inappropriate pictures? No. No, I mean, I mean, some, some might. I don't know any girl that does. But somewhere out there, there must be someone. But I'm not one of them. I know my friends don't appreciate inappropriate photos. It's disgusting. Why? Especially if you're not like, if your boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe that's a bit different. Depends what sort of, you know, what sort of thing you like. But you've just started talking and you're not in a relationship you're sort of seeing each other or just started chatting to one another and if you just send an inappropriate photo I mean I've had that in the past I've had that when I've been speaking to guys before I met James um and you think okay this person's actually okay like you're getting along you're having a good a good little chit chat and then they send a photo that's it for me sorry goodbye off you trot nah if you send a photo for me personally game over unless someone's asked for it don't just assume that that's what they want because we don't we don't want to see your because it's not pretty is it let's be honest it's not pretty we don't want to see it that's it we don't like it because it's cringy and we don't appreciate it we want a good you know, heart to heart conversation. Most girls just want a good little chit chat, get to know you, get to know your personality, have a little heart to heart. We don't want to see any of that. Okay? I can't wait to see what Katie says because she's like, she's very blunt. She's straight, straight to the point. She'll tell you how it is. So yeah, over to Katie. <laughs> Do girls actually like inappropriate pictures? What do you mean inappropriate? What, a picture of your, your sausage? I'm telling you now, absolutely flipping not. I wish this was like a non-explicit, no, I wish this was an explicit video where I could like swear to the high heavens. But F no, who wants to see a photo of your worm? Not me, Huns not me and i'm telling you now when i when i oh, i don't even know how old i was 
probably like 17 or something or maybe 18 and you just like have a little dabble on Omegle or whatever it's called chat roulette at the time oh my god I feel old um yeah and then there's like old blokes with their with their knob out sorry are you um are you looking for like a lifelong partner because if so that's not me yeah no like in a do girls actually like inappropriate pictures genuinely there is nothing more off-putting I'm so strong about this like I don't care really what I say anymore because I feel like really secure with Matt so I don't need to yeah don't need to worry but um yeah if I see a boy from school or whatever on Facebook with their top off genuinely I'm like I, it just makes me think of them as so immature <laughs> I don't know why it just does um but no I don't like inappropriate photos genuinely I don't know any girl that does I know my really good friend I'd probably call her my, one of my besties Sammy she thinks they're disgusting because they are um yeah there's nothing wrong with a bit of flirting is all I'm saying but when it's like your actual winky I'll call it a winky because that'll do no soz but no put it away please put it where it belongs in your pants okay the next one is do girls expect guys to pay on the first date um some girls yeah some girls do think it's the gentlemany is that even a word gentlemany thing to do to pay on a first date me and james we did half and half so we went for a meal at coast to coast and which was lovely lovely meal and then we went to the cinema now i can't remember which way around but one of us paid for the cinema and one of us paid for the meal we did half and half or if we just go for a meal maybe split the bill some guys just 100% want to pay for everything because that's the way they've been brought up or they just think it's the right thing to do. Um, some girls will just take that, but other girls will feel really bad and they want to they want to contribute to it. So half and half, I say. If a guy is adamant that they want to pay full, you know, let them. And then the next, the next date, you treat them. Just, I think, make it fair. Make it fair because it's not, it's not the guy's responsibility in my in my opinion it's not just make it make it equal half and half or i'll pay for this date you pay for the next one you know it's not it's not the guy's job do girls expect men to pay on the first date again generalized not all girls will expect um i actually think matt did pay on the first date but i didn't expect him to but i don't even know i don't know i don't want to be like I don't know what the word is. I don't want to be like really old fashioned, but I think it's really not like it's nice to feel. Oh, I don't like this word, but it's nice to feel courted. Um, but there's like there's no shame in the girl paying on the second date. It doesn't matter as long as it's fair, I think, personally. And if the guy wants to treat you, then they want to treat you. Or if the girl wants to treat you, that's fine, too. But just make sure they don't pay for everything because that takes the mickey the absolute mickey mouse um yeah it's a bit awkward with that one i love matt paying for stuff but that's because i'm a bit stingy so it just means i don't have to pay for it <laughs> lol hope he doesn't watch this why are girls afraid to fart in front of a guy i'm not i don't think it took me long to be fair to fart in front of james i don't know i don't think it took long at all and if i had to fart i'll do it but you know some girls it's not a girly thing to do is it it's a guy yeah because guys guys can be a bit gross can't they but girls are meant to be all rainbow and butterflies and meant to be all girly so we will try and hold our farts and especially if you're on a first date or you haven't been seeing each other for that long we will try and hold our farts in because we'll give ourselves a belly ache before we fart because it's not girly is it um but now and it didn't take me long at all, like I said. But now, if I need to do a little trump or an eggy fart, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Um, and James, James knows it. I will burp, I'll fart, whatever. But, I don't know. Girls just, they don't think it's attractive, girly. It's just not... When you think of a girl, you don't think of girls farting, do you? Let's be honest. I don't know but we don't want to put you off we want to make a good impression and 
be as girly and polite as we can be until we've sucked you in and you've caught the love bug then we'll let it all out we will be gross as we want <laughs> why are girls afraid to fart in front of a guy right they're not i do have to admit though when me and matt first got together and i was sleeping at his house um in his, with his parent <laughs> That sounds so bad. Sleeping at his house, in his room, with his parents in their room, at his parents' house. Oh my God. I feel I feel confused. Basically, when I was at Matt's parents' house and I slept over. There we go. I always, always used to get up whilst he was asleep and brush my teeth. I do not... I don't do that now because he says... He calls me dog breath sometimes. Prick. Um, sorry about that. What's the question? Why are girls afraid to fight in front of a guy? I think when you're first together, i.e. when you're not official, personally for me, I think you don't want to put them off. But everyone farts, you know? Everyone farts. I find it funny when I find out like girls don't poo around their other half or they don't poo at their other half's house even though they've been together for like years and years. I don't get it, but whatever. It's fine, it's cool. No judges, no judges, but I defo do. Why do girls spend ages on their makeup to look like they're not wearing any? Some girls like the natural look. Now, without makeup, guys will not understand this, but without makeup, your skin can look blotchy, you can have like red marks, or you've got spots, like insecurities, and you need a bit of makeup just to make yourself feel better. So even if a girl just puts foundation on, You'll think, you might look at her and think, she's not got any makeup on. She has. It's hiding all her insecurities if she's got acne or spots or whatever. Just a little bit of makeup, just some foundation, a bit of blusher, maybe a bit of mascara. To some guys, compared to girls which go all out with all the eyeshadow and the false eyelashes, everything, compared to her, you'll look at the other one and think, she's not wearing any makeup. She is it's a natural look it's like you want to be natural but you know if you are natural and you haven't got makeup on in your head you're thinking oh I've got spots I've got blackheads or I've got whatever and you put a little bit of makeup on just to make yourself feel a bit more confident a bit more happy a bit more like feel like you look okay it might not be like a load of makeup so you're not like False eyelashes, smoky eyeshadow, lipstick, all that. But it's enough just to make you feel better. I don't know. Like, we want to feel good. We want to feel good about ourselves. We want the confidence. And if a bit of foundation, a bit of mascara does that, then, yeah, we'll spend time making ourselves feel good about ourselves. Because if not, if we don't feel like we look good, we won't feel good. We'll be moody. Do you want us to be moody? Would you rather us not spend any time and be a miserable moo. Some time to put a bit of makeup on and make us feel good and then we'll be in a good mood for you. Um, okay, next one. Why do girls spend ages on makeup to look like they don't have any on? Ha! Huh, great question. The question, the answer is not sure. So I don't have any makeup on at the moment apart from a tiny wee bit of mascara and a bit of concealer so i currently have basically nothing on um my face not close uh i see quite a big difference when i put like makeup on and stuff so like a, a full face of makeup i see quite a difference so i can't relate to this one because i mean my foundation's quite good and it gives me full coverage so you need to invest in a better foundation don't you <laughs> um but yeah, I, I don't spend a long time on makeup anyway. So if I ever, if I do a full face, it only takes me like 10 minutes. I'm, I'm not very, I'm not one of those people that has like fake eyelashes, fake tan. I was going to say fake boobs, but that doesn't take 10 minutes, does it? <laughs> um, yeah. Is it a turn off if a man doesn't shave down there? Um, for me, no, not really. I mean, as long as it's not a full on bush. But even still, like, it's down to everyone's personal preference, isn't it? Some people might be like, oh, but others, they won't care. Um, I mean, for me, it has to be tidy-ish. Ish. It doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't matter. 
everyone's different. It, some people might like it full shaven, some people might not mind it. If it's not, some people might prefer it a bit like a bit neat and tidy. It's down to the individual um I don't know, I can't answer for everyone. But for me it doesn't really matter as long as it's not too cray cray. As long as it's not too crazy. Um is it a turn off if a man doesn't shave down there? <laughs> Right, I'm telling you now, okay? Right, it's like opposite ends of the spectrum. If it's completely shaved, it just makes me laugh. It just looks like a, a bald chicken that you'd find in Lidl's for £2.39. Just like a roast chicken. <laughs> Don't do that. Leave a bit. Stubble is no, because it hurts at any point and if it's an absolute bush i mean no one wants to do a bush tucker trial do they whilst you know getting down and dirty so just keep it tame huns just keep it keep it nice yeah not that it ever looks nice but you know we'll move on literally i'll give you 50 pound if you find a pretty willy there we go why are girls so moody on their period hormones come on hormones i mean you're a guy you will not understand hormones have a lot to answer for when you're on your period especially when you're pregnant so if you can't cope with a girl on her period just you wait just you wait until she's pregnant if she is going to be pregnant one day if she is phew, hormones are a mm, bad word they make you a little bit crazy they you can be one minute you can be up here and another minute whoosh you can be right down there hormones honestly are absolutely crazy and it's just it's not a good time of the month guys you're you're bleeding you'll have stomach pains you'll probably have aches you'll be extra hungry you'll be craving different foods you might have headaches you don't understand it's not a good time it's not it's just not that time of the month you need to be extra nice to the woman in your life because it's not fun hormones are evil why are girls so moody when on their period wow great great chat go away um i actually don't know i think your horm your hormones are high anyway when, when you're on the bob also your girl i mean i get really bloated when i am and obviously when you're bloated you feel fat so no one feels great when they feel fat so that's probably why but all you've got to do the way to a gal's heart or my heart bit of love few kisses absolutely no sexual it like things whatsoever because no one wants a rainbow um and a bit of chalky and that is it do not run me a bath baths are a no-go when you're on the blob okay that's about it why girls moody clearly because you don't feed them chocolate all right thank you bye i love this one why can't girls accept a bloomin compliment is how it was worded because we don't have the the confidence we don't feel good about ourselves we don't believe the compliments like some some girls might but me personally if someone compliments me i get all i feel like really weird and like all shy and just really weird about it because i don't i don't believe it myself i don't feel it and although it's nice to receive compliments we don't like to or we can't accept it. Like, I don't know. Other girl, every, every girl is different. Some girls have all the confidence in the world and, and they feel really good about themselves. But for girls that are a bit shy and insecure, if someone compliments you, it makes you feel really shy and you don't know what to do. You don't know. You don't, you just don't know what to do because you don't, you don't feel like you deserve a compliment. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but basically we don't feel that good about ourselves. We don't have the confidence. So when someone does compliment us, 
it froze us back a little bit. That's all I've got to say because I don't under I don't know the answer myself. Boop, boop, boop. Why can't girls just accept a blooming compliment? Oh my god. I can relate because I do not accept them. Genuinely, whenever people say like obviously when my hair's nice and stuff, they say, Oh your hair looks lovely and long. Oh yeah, I haven't had it cut in months though. I always bat it back with something bad, which isn't a great um which isn't a great response, but yeah, I always bat it back. I don't know why we can't accept a blooming compliment, maybe because it's not given correctly. Tell a girl they look lovely, then they'll say thank you. If you say, oh, you look beautiful today, they're probably not really going to say thanks. I think lovely is a nice word. If you tell us to leave you alone, do we leave you alone? What do we do? No. No. <laughs> you don't leave us alone. If we say, just leave me alone, guaranteed, all we want is for you to just hold us. Even if we start like trying to push you away, if we're in like that sort of like we have we've had a little argument and we just say, Oh, leave me alone and you try and hug hug her or him and like you're trying to push him away, wait a few seconds and then <sighs> we will just calm down because we don't want to be left alone. If you leave us alone, it's gonna make us worse. I know that's what we've told you to do. We'll tell you one thing, but really we want you to do the opposite. Again, Women are strange creatures. We don't make any sense. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand myself. So I don't know how I expect James to understand to me because women are just wired. We're weird. So if we tell you to leave us alone, don't, no matter what you do, do not leave us alone. Go and support her. Go and comfort her. Try and calm her down because that's what we want. We want you to be there. Even though we've told you to go. We don't want you to go. We want you to be there. We want you to try and understand us. It's going to be difficult, but try and understand us and, or maybe just sit there, just sit there and just wait. Wait for us to have our little paddy, have our moment and just, just so we know you're there to support us and as crazy as we can be, you're not going anywhere. That's what we want. If you tell us to leave you alone, do we? What do we do? Girls are weird. Depends on the outcome. If you've just cheated on her and she says leave you alone, you leave her the F alone. Or you're going to wake up, you know, with her, with a pillow over your face or something. <laughs> um, I don't know. If you tell us to leave you alone, do we? Do you know what, though? I say this to Matt when we have little tiffs and stuff. I say leave me alone and he doesn't. And then he eventually does. And then I kind of want him to come back after five minutes. So yes, leave. My answer is yes, leave them alone. Leave us alone. Give us like five, ten minutes. Think of something nice to do. Bring us a tea or I don't like tea, but bring us like a coffee or a little chocolate bar. Don't bring them a chocolate bar if they're on a weight loss journey. It will really annoy them. Um, or like a squash or like a lemonade or something cute that they like. Do not expect a thank you, okay? Don't expect you to make up there and then. Just give it to them and say, I'm ready to talk whenever you are, or say something nice and then walk away and give them a bit more space. And then that will be, then we will be like, oh, all right, you can come back. Because if you walk up and you expect a thank you, literally immediately, I personally would think he's just done that for a thanks, like, he's not in the good books anymore like he's still not in the good books but he's not in the good books even more because he just thinks that he can rectify something by giving me some chocolate well depends on the severity but that's my thoughts yeah go up to them give them a bit of time walk away again listen to what they've got to say don't butt in on my gold that is my pet hate okay so the last one who even asked this who are you get out Goodbye. Get out. <laughs> Why do girls let themselves go after dating a while? Rude. How rude. Who do you think you are? I mean, no. Um, girls like to make an effort. If you're dating, or you're meeting someone for the first time, or you're dating, you're getting to know each other, we like to make an effort. We like to make a good impression. Once we've got you hooked in, we don't always see the need to 
make so much effort because we've got your attention. You decided you like us. You want to be with us. You're stuck. I don't know. But why why should girls have to make the effort all the time? Guys don't. If you think of a guy, they don't make much effort really, do they? I mean, some guys do, but some guys make zero effort. So why should a girl have to make the effort all the time? You should appreciate your girl for how they are. Like, you know. Yeah, it's nice for a girl to get all dressed up and look all pretty, but have a nice chilled day, a Netflix day, no makeup, no bra day. You should love them no matter what and not make them feel bad if they don't have their fake tan on or their foundation, their eyelashes, they don't haven't straightened their hair or... Why does it matter if they've got their hair up in a ponytail, a bun, they've just bunged their hair up, they've got no bra on, they're just chilling. They, if they, If they do that, take it as a compliment because it means they feel comfy with you. If they feel comfy enough to not put their makeup on, to not make so much of an effort, that means they're 100% comfortable with you and you're in a good place. You're in a good place in your relationship because they feel comfy and they feel you're going to accept them even if you look like a troll. <laughs> I mean, who even asked this question? Who are you? Some girls, I've done this in the past. If you wake up first, let's say you, you've stayed over your boyfriend for the first time or the first few times and you wake up first... You'll go to your makeup bag and you'll like powder your nose, you'll put a bit of lip seal on, you'll brush your teeth. So then when the guy wakes up, they think, ooh, you're nice and fresh in the morning. I mean, I'm not the only girl that's done that, let's be honest. Majority of you have probably done that. Because you're still in that stage where you feel all anxious and nervous and you're trying to make a good impression. So when they stop doing things like that, that means they're 100% happy and confident and secure and it's a good thing trust me it's a good thing oh my god it's the last one why do girls let them why do girls let themselves go after dating a while um whoever wrote this you can literally like put yourself in a bin bag and with a stone and just chuck yourself in the sea because if you think this about your gal then she's not the gal for you because you are not a great person. I was about to swear then, but I know I can't swear. Um, why do girls let themselves go after dating? Maybe because they don't think you are such a judgmental a-hole um, and you should really see past their body. If you expect a girl to stay in the same shape and you only love a girl for her figure when you first met, then you know, if you are planning on having children, that figure ain't going to be the same. So you can just leave right now. <laughs> I, I'd love to know who that is because that is like a, that is such a poo question. But I know it's the, yeah, I know it's the name of the game. I know you've got to ask the questions that girls don't want to answer. Um, so it's a fantastic question for this, but never say that to their face because my God, you will literally probably die. Right, okay, that concludes. I feel like I've been like super poo at this one. I feel like I've had lots of, lots of really bitchy responses, but all of these, oh, all of these questions have just riled me up. So that concludes our little duet for the questions. Can't wait to see this video, Han. Oh, if you haven't, um, if you haven't followed Hannah on Instagram, or if you haven't subbed subbed subscribe to her on youtube or liked this video go and do it let's take a few moments and wait for you to like the video keep going click that like button i'm waiting have you clicked it okay great good on you Thank you for watching this video. Yeah, if you haven't commented down below, give Hannah a comment, give us a comment, tell, tell us what you thought, if you've got any other questions. Literally drop them right down below. Me and Hannah will do another collab. Um, literally any questions whatsoever and we'll do like a random Q&A. But yeah, I've loved it. So I shall bid you all farewell. If you would like to have a little look at my business, I run a successful planning company called Planning Emporium. Hannah will drop the link down below and it takes up the majority of my time, but I love it.
so yeah it does food diaries i do planners i do planner clips stationery whatever you like i do it uh invitations so much stuff but yeah yeah thanks for submitting the questions everybody and i shall love you and leave you but yeah, that's the end of our video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you to Katie for getting involved with me. I really, really enjoyed doing this. I'd enjoy it even more if me and Katie could be, you know, next to each other in the same room. But for now, we can't. So this will have to do. And I can't wait to do a proper video with her here with me. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, then I'd really appreciate it if you did that now. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.